This screencast will give a short introduction to reading strategies for literacy learners. Reading strategies are a set of tools that good readers use in order to make sense of what they are reading. They help the reader to become more focused and actively engaged in what they are reading, which can help them to improve their comprehension. Successful readers have a range of strategies that they know how to use, and they are able to use them in different contexts. Comprehension is the goal of reading, but it can often be the most difficult skill to master, especially for literacy learners. Therefore, literacy learners at all levels of English proficiency can benefit from being explicitly taught a variety of reading strategies. Reading strategies can be taught while the learners are doing authentic tasks that are relevant to their lives as they settle in Canada. Through the use of authentic tasks, the goal is that learners will learn to transfer their classroom knowledge to the authentic world and thus transfer the strategies as well. Teaching reading strategies to literacy learners is important. Reading strategies can assist struggling readers to read more accurately, figure out the meaning of unknown words, identify the most important concepts in a text, and improve their comprehension when reading new or more difficult texts. ESL literacy learners have had limited or no formal education. Therefore, they often have not learned how to use reading strategies to help them understand what they are reading. Teaching reading strategies requires explicit instruction and consistent reinforcement. Instructors should help learners to understand why the reading strategy is useful and how to use it. Therefore, demonstration, think alouds, and modeling are critical when learners are beginning to use a new strategy. It is important to continuously review and revisit the strategies frequently. The more the learners practice the strategies, the better chance they will have at transferring these skills to other learning activities. Please note, although there is no specific order in how you should teach the reading strategies, beginning with the monitoring understanding strategy will be helpful for your learners as it teaches struggling readers how to monitor when a breakdown in comprehension occurs. This strategy will assist learners with their comprehension when reading new or more difficult text. All other reading strategies can be taught in any order based on how they fit into the individual lesson plans and materials. The reading strategies that can be found within the modules include activating background knowledge, asking questions, comparing and contrasting, fact and opinion, finding the main idea, identify key vocabulary, inferencing, monitoring understanding, sequencing, skimming and scanning, summarizing. Please note that summarizing is only found in the CLB3 materials as this is a higher level strategy and should only be introduced at this level. Using context clues, using text features, and word attack strategies. Please note, information on how to teach word attack strategies is also included in the reading strategies folder, even though it is different than the traditional reading strategies noted above. When teaching a reading strategy, follow these steps. Step one, introduce the strategy. Explain to learners the purpose of the strategy and how the strategy will help them become better readers. Step two, model the strategy. Use a think aloud, which involves talking out loud about what you are thinking as you discuss and use the strategy. Step three, provide guided practice. Work together with learners and use the strategy to understand a piece of text. Step four, provide in independent practice. Provide opportunities for learners to practice the new strategy using various types of texts. Step five, provide continuous support. Be sure that the learners are given multiple opportunities to use the strategies throughout the modules. It is important to provide the learner with continuous support as they practice using the strategies independently. Please note that depending on the level you are teaching, there are separate folders for CLB3 and CLB5. The materials at each level are similar, however, the CLB3 version is simplified in the reading level for the activities, handouts, and learner notes. When you are accessing the folders for either CLB3 or CLB5, you will find the following documents. A separate folder for each of the individual reading strategies. A copy of the lesson plan which goes into detail on how to teach each of the strategies. Within each of the separate reading strategies folder, you will find an activity handout to practice the strategy, learner notes, and depending on the strategy, you might also find an instructor reference sheet. This is for any materials that you will need to project as part of the lesson and a graphic organizer that goes along with the strategy. For more information on each strategy and how to teach them, please see the individual screencasts for each, of the in each individual reading strategy.